and welcome to the Gypsy Food Network. Tonight we're going to do something a little bit more different for the sports guys out there. I know a lot of you guys like to entertain your friends on uh, poker nights and uh, when the game's on and since it is September, football is starting. So we showed you guys how to make pretzels. Uh, bagels. <laughs> I forgot the name. Tonight, guys, we're going to show you guys how to make pretzels, homemade. And I hope you guys enjoy it. This is what you need. You need one cup of warm water with a pinch of sugar inside of it. You need one and a half cups of flour, two tablespoons of oil, a half a teaspoon of salt, and then you're going to need a cup and one fourth uh, flour on reserve. Okay, so we're going to do two batches here of flour. So first what we want to do is we want to put our yeast inside of our warm water in order for it to grow and we have the one tablespoon here or you can use one of the envelopes and all you do is just pour it in there and cover it up and leave it in there for 10 minutes and we'll be back in 10. Okay guys, it's been 10 minutes so we're back and what we're going to do is we're going to add our cup and a half of flour and we're going to add our teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to mix it just a little bit. Make a little well. Pour in your two uh, tablespoons of oil and also your ye yeast, okay? And a cup and a half of water. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just stir it up. You can use your hands if you want, but we're going to use our spoon. And since we got all of that all mixed up, we're going to add our other uh, cup and a quarter of flour. <coughs> and then we're going to mix that in there, okay? Now, it is looking dry, so we're going to need a little bit more water in here. So I'll be right back with a little bit of warm water. Okay guys, I added just a little bit of water just to make it a little bit more moist here. Okay. And we're going to mix it. And then after we mix it like this, then what we're going to do is we're going to let it rest for 10 minutes. No, 15 minutes. And then we'll be back in uh, 10. Hey guys, I'm back. We were supposed to uh, go ahead and knead it, needle. So we're going to do this for a little while here until we get our uh, dough all filled in. And then we'll let it rest for 15 minutes. And what we want to do is get it all incorporated. So we're going to knead it. And it's still a little bit wet from the inside. And that we don't want. So what you want to do is just lightly put flour in it. You don't want to overwork the flour in here because then they'll be too hard. And we're making a soft pretzel. Okay. So I'm going to continue to do this. And then I'll leave it rest for 15 minutes and I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. I messed up on my timing here, guys, so you guys know. What you do is right after you mix all the ingredients, take it out of the bowl and start kneading, just like we usually do the bread. And you knead it for five minutes, okay? It should turn out like this. Don't add as much flour, just scoot the flour a little bit at a time inside, just so that it doesn't stick and everything and it comes out like that. Now we're going to let it rest for an hour. So I'll see you guys back in about an hour. Hey, welcome back, guys. Okay, it's been an hour, and our dough has ro risen, as you can see. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick it up. And, yeah, it's going to be sticky, so don't worry about it. And just um, sprinkle a little of this here and just flatten it down. And now we're going to make two-inch round little balls. 
And we're going to also let them uh, go ahead and rise for 15 minutes, okay? So would you guys say that's about two inches? Maybe give or take, whatever. We're there. Okay, we're going to let them rise, and I'm going to just place them on a sh cookie sheet. And just go like this with your hand. And that will bring out a little ball. And place that there. And I will continue to do this, and then we're going to let them rise for 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll shape them into uh, into the pretzels. Hey guys, we're back. It's uh, 15 minutes after now, and what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the little balls, and we're just going to start to roll it out, make it into a long uh, strip here, and you just continue to do that. It's going to be a little bit sticky, but just keep picking it up. And what's going to happen here is after we get them all done, we're going to leave them rise for another half hour. I know it's a long process, but you know what? If you want to impress your friends, it's worth it. Have some fun. And once they're done with the uh, hot mustard on them after they're baked in the oven, there's going to be something special. So... Make your shapes any way you want. It doesn't have to be a pretzel. You guys bought pretzels before and there are all kinds of pretzels out there. So we're going to make some fun shapes. And we'll be right back. We're finished with our shapes. You can shape them any way you want. It is a pretzel. Uh, guys, start this out early because it does take a lot of time. And we'll see you guys back in a half hour. And then we'll start our water to boil because we need four cups of water boiling with two tablespoons teaspoons of baking soda and then we'll pop them in the oven for 475 for 12 minutes we will do an egg wash on them and also salt them so we'll be right back hey guys we're back our water is boiling and we're going to put uh, two teaspoons of baking soda in our water and then we're going to get our pretzel and we're going to put it inside the water and we're going to boil them for one minute on each side, 30 seconds on each side so we're going to put them in there and then we're going to put them on a cooling rack and once the cooling rack and they're all dry then we'll pop them in the oven at 475 okay we'll be right back hey guys we're back we're going to give them an egg uh, wash right now they're dry. I got the oven at uh, 475. So we're going to just brush them like so. They're nice and firm now. But they still have to do some baking uh, for um, 12 minutes in the oven. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the egg wash on them. And like I said, you can do any shape you want. It doesn't have to be a pretzel just because it's a, that dough. You can make fun shapes. And we also got some cultured culture salt, okay? And we're going to put that. And that's that big uh, big crystals here. Now when you do use this, be careful because it is very salty. So if you guys can't get salt, uh, put those sesame seeds that they have. I had some, but the kids ate them. They thought they were candy. Okay. I'll see you guys back in 12 minutes. Hey guys, I'm back. So okay guys, don't be jelly because if those things look like pretzels, there they are. I just wanted to show them to you guys. Uh, you guys can add anything on top. You can add sugar. You guys can add uh, cheese, whatever. But this is what they look like after they're done. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for coming in tonight. And also, uh, I'd like to thank the viewers and the subscribers and friends and everybody enjoy the pretzels. God bless.